anybody will try anything to disappoint your life. Not the same person we go they try anything to take your wife. Oh, oh, oh. But even when you try anything good to change your life, the same person we go they stab you from back and with your knife. Oh, oh, oh. Them still hold me down. Yes, oh, yes, oh. All of us, oh, and they do, oh, juro, juro, they don't take them, hold me down, and my dummy do, then they do, oh, he don't do, oh, oh, juro, juro, they don't take them, hold us down, and my dawa do, then they do, oh, he don't do, oh, oh, juro, juro, all the people where they make life terribly tough and hard for us, yeah. The same politician where they come try sell hope to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Anybody will promise you anything to change your life. Now the same person will go they give you money and take your life. Oh, 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 oh. Them still hold me down. Yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh. Delay all of us, oh, wow. And they do, oh, juro, juro, They don't take the hold me down. And my dummy do no. Larry Safari, the title of that one you just heard is Ujuru. You can search it on YouTube, Ujuru by Larry Safari. Let me allow the comments rule now. Yes, um, three fallacies that the outing of mass action. Can you hear me now? Someone says they can't hear me, but I can see my audio is buzzing. Can you hear me? Okay, okay. Thank you so much for confirming. Yes, so three fallacies that have so far been debunked yet again by Sunday at DMO, also known as Sunday Igboho. Number one is the myth or fallacy that, oh, you can't challenge government. Nobody challenges government and wins. Well, she already started it. He challenged the federal government. He tried to threaten him, including arresting, detaining, in fact, abducting him again live in courtroom. And he's still standing strong that you can't kill my spirit. It is my spirit, like my resolve, my decision, my determination. You can't, no matter how much volume of threats. And I've seen yet another courageous man. So if you say, oh, nobody challenges government and wins, or nobody tries to challenge government, it sees those corrupt comrades that will say the cannot challenge government and win because they will bring money to you at the back, you collect it and chicken out and say you can't challenge government and win. If you cannot beat them, you join them. It is a fallacy. That's a myth. So this courageous man has just led that yet again. If there are now other controversial agitations or underneath missions or visions, is left to whoever. But as far as the fallacy is concerned, it's already debunked. You can challenge government. The second fallacy is, oh, Yorubas are cowards. But yet again, you see today that when people say it's time, it's time. So when you say Yorubas are cowards, it's not that they are cowards. It's a fallacy. It is because there are still some anki pankies and people failed to unite. Or there are still some uh, betrayals or people, you know, who are going through back door to make their effort, to thwart their efforts. Otherwise, Yorubas are not cowards. And I've made example over time of Adekunle Fajri who when they brought, when the army came, that they want to, wanted to slaughter his guests, he said, well, you kill me along. 
You don't take my guests just like that. Kill him, but kill me first. Whoever does that, gives such bravery, cannot be regarded as coward. Not so Yorubas are not cowards. The third fallacy that people cannot organize without a big man sponsoring them. <sighs> but we saw the level of organization today. Do you understand it? And you saw the crowd that followed this brave man today. It wasn't sponsored by Atiku. It wasn't sponsored by any big man. Yes, he had his own little money, but people were resolved that this is a nonsense that is here to stop. Whatever this means is that, gentlemen and ladies, you don't need to sell your big dream to Atiku before you can move. Ah, you have a big dream, you have a big idea, but if you don't give it to PDP or let APC sponsor it, or until you see Tinubu or until you see Dangote, you cannot, you cannot fly. Or if those big men don't support you, you cannot do it. Sunday Igboho has challenged anybody who will say they pay him money to come out and say I'm being sponsored to lead the action against Fulani invaders in the southwest. Now, let me come to my own personal opinions about what is now ongoing. Initially, I wasn't going to take this agitation seriously because it felt more like a social media rant. But the moment I started to see that they are now laying physical structure and giving life physical energy to the rant ahead because before i also believe before i could also believe in show rest movement i saw that he first came down from new york to physically lead the church uh -huh. now you are talking in fact my type my little account balance i gave it i mean i gave my little account balance by flying to abuja you know going and coming covering court processes uh -huh, because that was now serious. So now that I have seen these agitators giving physical tonic and hoiling the movement, uh -huh, I can now see that this is serious. However, however, the energies must not be misdirected. So that this is a popular mass action mass action against nonsense because over time presidency had thrown caution to the wind to the wind especially when you see people like garuba Shehu using the platform official platform of presidency to make insightful provocative inflammatory statements to back terror activities it is quite irresponsible and it makes it popular for people to organize against such government so that you cannot defeat government in fact it's the other way around that the government is the one now afraid of people especially when people are organized and agree to a unifying uh, factor let me make a make a mix sound with pigeon, small, small, so that Mr. Go understand me. If you know fit scope, we should with a carry placard. You call showren, you call a nuisance. See, because the carry placard, him na nuisance for carrying placard and saying nonsense must stop. At least you should be able to cope with people carrying wearing bulletproof vests now and carrying weapons. Brandishing it in broad daylight. You will cope with that one. After all, you love to cope with terrorists. And to those who are saying Sunday Bo is a thug, a political thug, uh, one thing, one that. Uh, uh. Sorry, the MCO Lua more that your APC is sponsoring in Lagos. Is a professor, Abi. Oh, this one a hoodlum. Political hoodlum. 
Ok, M. Luomo is a professor. Eh, answer that question, no. Because the moment somebody is doing something that you don't approve, or is not from your party, you call them names. You call Shore nuisance. You call Sunday Ibuho thug or hoodlum. Because it's not from your PDP and EPC that you are picking crumbs from. Again, it further emphasizes and underscores the points we have been making ever since. That the real enemies are actually not even in the other tribes. Or within and among ourselves. And I want to quickly, from experience, say this. Sunday, but we have not seen the last of all of this. And the people around Sunday Ibo must make sure that they do not leave him. Because they are studying him. They want to demystify him. Yes. When Shore was doing graffiti in Lagos, people thought revolution was coming the next morning. When Shore launched the orange berets, they thought, oh, it is time. They made sure that when the ovations were down, they made sure that when people had gone to bed, they made sure that when activities were relaxed and it was alone, then they struck. Do you understand it? So we haven't seen the last of all of this. Whole. To those of us who are hailing Sunday Iboho, let us learn from, if not from distant history, at least from history we still recent. Make we watch on. You need to protect this man. As in a day, heal him. Make with the check on him every day. Make people the day around him. He may be strong, but if he walks alone, they will demystify him. The only time government can defeat people is when people are not united. But as far as people are united, it will be difficult. So this man needs protection henceforth, not just the juju he carries. Not just the juju. They will study, they will wait for him. They will allow the ovations to go. That is the practice of people in government. They will allow the ovation to go. After a while, when normalcy is returning and businesses are coming back, you will be shocked. So we haven't seen the last of it. And I also want to advise. I also want to advise. If this is going to culminate... Yes, because it is a popular action that even the Amotepun set up by the Southwestern Security Apparatus or government is in support of banishing the strangers from invading your land. They are, everybody is in support of that. It's still popular. But excuse me, you have to be careful. The moment you now start taking the agitation further, that is when they will start. That is when you now see the people following this man. You now start seeing them dividing. It's it's a stay. They are in stages. It's in phases. It is popular to say, "Yeah, strangers invading our land is not." Yeah, everybody will support that. But the moment you graduate that to call for ethnic separation or separatist agenda or movement, you will be shocked. That the people, the crowd you saw with him today, <laughs> they will start. Most of them are members of APC, PDP, OPC, Boy Scouts, and the rest of them. And he needs protection. Just the same way, the way Shore was picked up and is now isolated in Abuja. Yeah, Shore is a rare bit, the kind of person he is. He doesn't mind. Keep him anywhere, he will continue to do. But don't let them pick this man. At least we can't repeat the same mistake twice. So you must. So graduating it to uh, breaking the country is when it starts getting political intonation. For now, it has no political in in intonation. Everybody will support it. Yes, we all want protection of our ancestral land. Yes, it's popular. Amotekun support it, Ondo State Government, all of them are in support. In fact, this time, they have isolated Sheyi Makinde. Sheyi Makinde is waiting as a strategist. 
graduate it to a political and you would see. That is to say, if we truly must graduate it and sustain it, and sustain it very seriously, don't stop at a one day, don't stop at a one day agitation. What happened today? Hmm? What happened today? Is a one day show. I will recommend that this sustains day two. Let there be another. Don't let it end today. Plan for day two. Let the actions continue. Now let on those states indigenous replicate the same thing against herdsmen uh, invaders. Let them replicate the same thing in Ogun states. Replicate the same thing in Oshun. Replicate even in Lagos. If we can do all of this in all the southwest states that are looking for Urudua Republic, yes, yeah, start with evicting the kidnapper headsmen. Start with that. Sustain it. Day two, day three, undo all your joints, Oshun joints, Ogun joints, Lagos joints. And we are streaming all of them coordinately. Uh -huh. The atmosphere will mature. That way it becomes a true separatist movement. But for now, everybody supports, yeah, evict strangers invading your ancestral land. Everybody supports that. I won't say more than that. There are some things that we cannot say here. Because when you want to do things that are quite strategic, we don't review, from experience, we don't review them online. But I will try to reach out to some of them. Maybe I will get Koiki's number because I understand he is there because he was reporting live. I will try to get Koiki. Perhaps we can pass some of idea, organizing ideas to them so that this idea can continue to have can continue to have mass support because the moment it begins to lose mass support and people start having issues against it do you understand aha uh, it will it will have issues okay so i'll try to get maybe koiki and the uh, others who i saw uh, you know, you know, you're today reporting live, and then we might pass some of strategies down to them. But it shouldn't end as a one day off or one day show. If it does not sustain till tomorrow, day three, day four, and other states also begin to key into it, it will die. It will only end up as. Uh, Maybe it will pass off as a carnival or a one-day show. Yeah, entertainment more of. So I'll try to reach out. If anyone has a Koiki Media's number or if he hears this broadcast, let him try reaching out. My own number is uh, very easy. Everybody, almost everybody has it. So, but I'm interested in, because the moment they isolate this man, hmm? the struggle will suffer. This protection is very important. It's not a very pricey man. You know what I'm talking about. His price has gone up. If you used to speak for free on media, now you should be getting paid. <laughs> if the price don't go up. He's man of the moment. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, let me take... Um, let, me, let me take some comments. Let me take some comments. Somebody says she already wants one Nigeria. Good luck with his one Nigeria. I think I have explained this in the past. She is not insisting that Nigeria be one. She is, uh, is only saying that whether we are one or we break up into different ethnics, what matters most is humanity, good governance. That even before we break up, there must still be good governance within the Nigeria. Like, what happened today is asking for good governance because if government is backing terrorists, that is where is good governance? 
Government cannot be backing terrorists, you know. So that's just it. So Shora is only saying there should be good governance. It doesn't matter whether you break the country or not. It's not about breaking the country. It's about good governance. That's what Shora is saying. Um, so God never created you to dislike, you know, remind, or remain poor. Good. I think those are spam comments. I'll find that person later and probably block. <laughs> uh, Nigeria has expired. Bad governance has expired too. That's why we are getting all these uh, reactions. Okay, someone asked Koiki Media's number. Please kindly, because the comments are, you know, they are rushing. Kindly just pass it inbox. Mm. Is that his Nigeria? Okay, I think he rooms. He rooms his number. Yeah. Um. If you know that man, you know that he has soldiers in every area in Yoruba land. I hear you. Okay, thank you, KK. Please uh, let him get in touch. Okay. No, I'm not. I'm not asking that uh, Sunday Bo <laughs> must be educated. No, uh, the fact remains. The fact remains that I have said it before too among revolutionary comrades that the people who actually lead this revolution are not. They are not. Uh, they are not educated people. Shere is too academic for this Orosuke generation, in my opinion, even though he's trying. Hmm? Shere is trying, but he's being too academic for this Orosuke generation. Now, this is a language somebody is speaking, and it carries the locals along. Hmm? Even, the, uh, even the kids he wore today, people saw him and they are like, eh, hey, oh, mo, eh, hey. <laughs> Yeah. So that said, I have told the comrades at Revolution now that the people who lead the revolution are not even among Shore's comrades. The fact remains that Shore is a foreteller. In the Kano will not still be the one to lead Igbos out of Biafra land, out of Nigeria. That's a fact. Go and write it down. But they are good prophets, they are foretellers. They are laying the premise for it. The people who actually lead it eventually are not already known. I'm telling you, they are the people you call hoodlums. They are the people you call you call touts. They are the ones that will actually carry it out because they are the operational foot soldiers. I've said it many times, but these ones who are foretelling that this will happen, that will happen. They are submitting themselves and making themselves available for arrest and torture and all that. Hmm? They are prophets. They are laying the foundation, but they are not necessarily the ones that will lead the actual charge. I'm telling you, the charge will just pass far from nowhere and you'll be shocked. It may just be a sprinkle of small communal fight somewhere and then it will erupt. I'm telling you. So, we have a lot of educated people. Uh, please, I'll answer all these calls after. Uh, and that is it. Let me also quickly say, let me also quickly say that I have also said it before that she raised the last set of comrades, last set of comrades who will go out with placards. I'm telling you. Because people who saw how she was being treated, I said it, they are laying foundation, they are laying the premise for the actual revolution. People who are watching, young people are watching Shore being, you know, mistreated in courtroom, being abducted life, and the rest of them, you know, those people who are watching all these things happening, hmm, I bet you, they will not come out with placard again, because they don't want to be treated like that. Now, you saw people coming out with devices. That is, so, when you come out with devices, government runs away. When you come out with placard, government mistreats you. You are sending message to these people that you don't like to see placards. But you like to see them having their own armor. That is what you are saying. <laughs> so I've always said it. I've always said it. That she is the last activist that will lead people to carry placard. Nobody will carry placard with you anymore. People, especially when they saw the event that happened at Lekki, 
soldiers came and brutalized and killed people and they are now playing games with lives that were that were maimed mm? they are now playing by setting up funny as you know shambolic what, what you call uh, uh, the, the panel mm? you are now setting up panels you now feel people will be carried away by that one light just went off please uh, let me change the battery and i'll be back shortly now larry safari will be holding the space for me in the interim thank you um I, don't, don't go away i'll be right back. i just need to change the battery now one light just went off. yes i'm back forgive me it's one of the challenges we face here no electricity so we improvise a lot using battery solar and all that you know so as i was saying nobody will go with placards to go and face you know dreaded police and soldiers anymore people will watch the event at lekki the next time they are coming out will harm themselves not with placards mm, but with devices it will now be survival of the fittest at the front so if as we were warning this idiot in power then we were warning this yes i use solar i use solar to charge batteries and it's night now so solar has gone down <laughs> you know so i have to be changing the batteries but i debated now i will not see the way you treat activists and i want to come out next time and come out with placard again mm, i need to i need more solar if you want give me is welcome i have many people who need solar i even said this year i want to empower more people more babas who can use uh, solar to power their clipper instead of wasting their profit on petroleum fueling gen you know we need to even reach out the push start initiative i started last year we need to really up it this year as in organize it better this year and reach out to more people now money they do a juro the more i have then the more so as i said nobody will go out anymore mm? and with placards because more people will now start going out you know more people will now start going out with self-defense because there's no defense in the nigerian defense there's no defense by the nigerian police those ones are private protectors for politicians and vips yeah for politicians and vips so nigerians you are your own defense like i would i told somebody via a chat hmm? via a chat when you say ah you call the police i'm ah, moving to a new area i'll need uh, this i'll need that I'll, uh, the area is not secure i say bro it is your responsibility to be alive it is your responsibility to be safe it is not the responsibility of nigerian government because they have never been responsible it's not a, it is your responsibility to be alive and to be safe it's not the responsibility of any government because the nigerian government is not responsible it is your responsibility to be secure and that's the point i have to make so please no we have told the government several times the way you are treating shore you are sending a very bad a very bad signal to people who are coming up next to they thought it was a joke. Just wait for it. The last NSAS protest was a child. It was an experiment. All right? It was an experiment. The next one, if it happens, if they allow next one happen, if you see placard, now this guy's old. If you see placard, next mass protest, now this guy's old. People go load. Because nobody wants to be victim and you'll be setting up your judicial panel for. Nobody wants to be victim anymore. Nobody. But they're not here. Well, they have set the tone. Nigerians are now reacting. Gentlemen and ladies, I don't want this atotun to be too much. I have made the points I need to make tonight, which is that there are three myths that the outing today as further demystified or fallacies that have been demystified again today number one that you cannot challenge government is a lie in fact you can challenge government that the government will recoil like snail into its shell especially if you have people supporting you i mean you have mass of people 
uniting with you. Number two, that Yorubas are cowards. Is a lie, you. Now, because they know they are they are peaceful people, they, they always give long rope. They wanted to exhaust the chances. By the time you push them to the wall, you will know they are not cowards. Number three, that uh, except there's a big man like Atiku or Tinubu funding you, you can't have mass mass movement or you can't have mass organization or you can't organize people. She be does you see this one. No, I know she'll say not in Ubu PM. And I know she'll say Nati could give her money. But you can lead people. Then lastly, I suggested that it should not be a one off or one day show. So that it doesn't end up like some kind of carnival. And APC and PDP, your APC and PDP brothers will not start laughing. You say after you're out in Shotan, is that all? Is that all you wish? Maybe you have enjoyed your one day ovation. Hey, it must not end there. It must trans, it must transit or trans. Is this transform frigate? You only know, transform and now upgrade into a serious movement. Let other states join. The two, the three Oshun, the four Lagos, the five Ogun. Let more people, let other states ignite or replicate the same action. And let that in your also not stop. That is where we can now begin to say, yes, it has become a movement. And I want to thank you for your attention. Um, and I think at uh, this point, I want to leave you with, uh, as usual, my man, where's the Ojuru thing? Ojuru? Yes, I like this Ojuru. It's a new release by my very good person, Larry Safari. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye for now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. On the dog, this generation. Yes, I'm uh -huh. Anybody when you try anything to disappoint your life Not the same person where you go they try anything to take your wife oh, 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 oh. But even when you try anything good to change your life The same person where you go they stab you from back and with your knife oh, 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 oh. Them still hold me down Yes oh, yes oh, yes oh. Delay all of us oh, oh. And they do oh, don't they don't hold me down and my dami do Then they do oh it don't do oh go joro joro It don't they don't hold us down and my dawa do Then they do oh it don't do oh go joro joro All the people where they make life terribly tough and hard for us Yeah Like the same politician where they come try sell hope to us Yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Anybody will promise you anything to change your life. Now the same person will go to give you money and take your life. Oh, 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 oh. Them still hold me down. Yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh. Delay all of us, oh, oh. And they do, oh, Joro, Joro, They don't take them, hold me down. And my dami do, Joro, Joro. Them they do, oh, he don't do, oh.